I always really welcome these opportunities to kind of interface with people solving co completely different problems but with a similar type of mission. And definitely to have people from industry, from ABPI, practicing um, clinicians, people like myself who've left clinical practice and doing it was, it was a great mix of people. And for me it was really listening to all those different perspectives. So the perspectives of people from industry, uh, clinicians, medical students and uh, entrepreneurs as well and some of the ideas around how technology is going to transform healthcare in the next five to ten years. You know, how do we see the future of healthcare? There are so many things that are mentioned from biosensors to VR to AI um, and all of these things I think uh, beyond the scope of what I have seen in my, in, in my short clinical experience, um, but have the most potential and I think I'm most excited about. Being able to create services that go alongside those medicines that can even make them more valuable. So what are the unique needs of our patients? What happens with our medicines that, that we can actually improve the customer experience as a result of providing a service alongside of it? I think healthcare has been very doctor-centric um, and actually not very patient-centric. Um, and the patient hasn't felt very empowered, not very well informed and often not involved in decisions about their health and care and treatment. Personally for me, what I, what I took away from it was just the sheer um, potential need for collaboration. Um, we need to get rid of barriers to innovation and we really need to embrace all of these changes that are happening in the NHS at the moment. There's more examples of where what you can do now, the technology is much more friendly in terms of it's what you can do with it and so it's a very exciting time to be a millennial HEP.